Hey guys, what's going on? Aaron Bennett here, coming to you live with Celsius updates from a park in southern Colorado. Slightly undisclosed location, but I am at like a public park on their Wi-Fi. So let me dive into the three things I want to cover today. The first, yesterday Celsius came out with a new report on basically all the coins that they have and all the coins that they don't have. Basically a more detailed report of their actual crypto hole. The second thing I'm going to cover is the call tomorrow. I got an email saying it may be canceled basically the second day of motions. So I just want to go through that email with you. And third, I'm going to talk about August 19th. So in a few days, there is a call in where you can actually participate as a creditor. So I'm going to show you exactly the number to call in and how to do that. So this is the coin report as of July 29th. And the long story short is it does not look great. Now I'm not going to go through every single line because that would take me a very, very long time. But essentially this page right here shows their monthly cash flow forecast. And essentially by October, they are not going to have any more money to run their expenses. Basically, they are still paying people payroll, hosting, other operational expenses. They have capital expenditures, restructuring activities, and their liquidity, their cash liquidity is going to be in the negative within a few months. So what this means is that there needs to be a better plan, probably a plan that Celsius is not going to bring forth. Possibly the UCC and the lawyers are going to have to figure out a way to fix this, right? I mean, this is just showing you that they're not going to have enough money to continue to do what they're doing within the next few months. And this is the coin report. So again, not going to go through everything, but it shows Bitcoin, wrapped Bitcoin, ETH, staked ETH, USDC, sell, and other coins. It basically shows their liabilities in the millions of dollars, and then it shows their assets. So essentially here, their assets for Bitcoin, 348 million. And this, I believe, is 2.5 billion. Basically, they have a net Bitcoin position of, I believe, $2.1 billion in the hole. They are positive wrapped Bitcoin. They also have a hole for their ETH and USDC. They have a hole as well in the negative. And essentially, their hole as of this total is around $2.8 billion. Let's just say a $3 billion hole. So on the whole, this doesn't look good. And essentially, we can't really do anything with this information. This is just basically what they gave us. Now, it's very important to note, this report includes all coin assets and liabilities held by the Celsius Group. It excludes non-coin assets such as cash, investments in various subsidiaries and other investments. So that would be the mining and GK8, which they may sell. Also, this does not include certain other reserves and adjustments that are reflected in the consolidated balance sheet. So this does not include a lot of their assets. So a lot of people are saying, well, this number is not totally accurate. You know, we have to wait for more information to come out. And this next page is looking at their mining activity. So July 29th, they had a beginning balance of 45 Bitcoin. They mined 432. And and then they sold 128. So they had an ending balance of just 348 Bitcoin. And this is approximately 58,000 rigs deployed. So take a look at what David Adler said about this entire spreadsheet is this budget is insane. The operational costs are completely out of whack with what should be expected with a business that is shut down and just servicing its remaining assets. So he's talking about this page right here, the operational expenses. This guy is a bankruptcy lawyer, I believe. Very, very smart guy. Somebody else mentioned if Celsius can actually generate that 10 to 15,000 Bitcoin each year, then there might be some hopes and basically their mining operations filling the hole. Because when Celsius first filed BK, it said their 2022 projection is to generate 10,000 Bitcoin. And for 2023, they project 15,000 Bitcoin. And we still need more information. Basically, this person said we need a detailed breakdown on their mining capacity. So everything that we just got yesterday, this is still like, we don't quite know exactly how much of it is true, because this is definitely more accurate than what we got before. But we don't know what will happen from here. Basically, will Celsius be able to present a plan that will be approved by the UCC and the judge, something that is viable to basically get everyone crypto back. Remember that in order for a plan to be approved, it has to be better than just a chapter seven liquidation. I covered this on my Voyager video, my last video. Voyager and Celsius are going to have a very, very similar path. So what's happening with Voyager is basically what's going to happen with Celsius maybe in a month or two. And essentially, 
Celsius's plan would need to be better than just a liquidation and selling of all of their assets. So we still don't know exactly what's going to happen, but this is just the latest info. So what Otis says is that you can't just lose 67,000 Bitcoin, which they are showing in these charts here. He thinks that they sold the Bitcoin at the top of the market for fiat and used the fiat to finance the Bitcoin mining facility. And if you remember, they were planning to take their mining public, which they actually were on Bloomberg TV. Alex was on Bloomberg talking about taking their mining public. I think this was like uh, May or June. And they were going to use that money from the IPO to buy back the 67,000 Bitcoin. That's what Otis thinks. Simon says, crazy that they think they could use client funds like that if that was the plan. That's a VC, venture capital fund, rather than a yield business, and the IPO was not even approved. A fully compliant business could take a year to get their IPO approved. Insane bet if that was the plan. So right now, there is still a lot of speculation. This is what we think was going to happen. This is what happened. Wait, how much is GK8 worth if they sell it? What is their net profits from their Bitcoin mining business? These are still questions we don't really have the answers to right now. So I'll leave the link to that document below if you want to check it out. So here's what I want to talk about next really quickly. Tomorrow, I guess 816, so that would be tomorrow as of this video, they were going to have their second day hearing. Celsius was going to go back in court. And I actually subscribed like you could as well if you want to hear it live on Zoom. So I got this information and then like an hour or two later, I got one that said canceled. So I don't quite know if they are going to actually go to court tomorrow. So if they are, I will definitely cover it. If not, I will definitely let you know when the next big update is. And the last thing I want to cover is right here. So this came in today. It says instructions for telephonic section 341 meeting of creditors. This is for you and I to call in. It is August 19th at 9am Eastern time. The meeting will be conducted by telephone conference. So here's the information to call in and I will leave this information in the uh, description below. There's a dial-in number and also a participant code. So guys, that's it for the video. I just want to make it short and sweet. I'm not trying to take up a bunch of your time and blab on and on. If you are curious what most likely Celsius will be doing, watch my Voyager update video, which is the last video I made, because they are using the same law firms, basically. It's going to be the same process. Chapter 11, there may be a time for people to bid on the assets. So a lot of the questions you may be having about what does this actually look like in the future? How is Celsius going to present a plan? What if that plan isn't approved? All these questions were actually answered in the Voyager Town Hall. So again, check out that video if you'd like. So guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. And you can probably see it's raining behind me. Uh, if you can hear it, I apologize. But uh, it's actually a nice day. It's just kind of raining outside. I will leave all the links I talked about in this video below for you guys. So you can take a look on your own. If you're not following me on Twitter, you can go ahead and do so with the link below. I share a lot of the updates there. And until next time, guys, I'll talk with you soon. And bye for now.